Well, a generation of boys in Kenya is at risk, and the vast majority are living on the streets. Kenya's second lady has made it her mission to rescue these young men and to train them to become the future leaders of the country. Wendy Griffith brings us the story. When most people think of Kenya, they picture spotting the Big Five on safari or the wildebeest migration at Masai Mara, considered one of the seven wonders of the world. For those who live there, it's a different story. That includes the country's second lady, Pastor Dorcas Ragathi. Her main goal, trying to rescue the thousands of young boys who have left the rural areas to find work in the cities, but end up on the streets. Why are you focused on the boy child, as you say? Currently, we have a crisis in Kenya where young men are in the streets taking drugs, taking alcohol, and they are dying in numbers. Millions have died in the last many years. Ragathi says although Kenya is 85 percent Christian and she, her husband, as well as the first couple are all believers, Satan is trying his best to infiltrate Kenya. Any time Satan wanted to destroy a nation, he went for the boy child. We may not look at it and see it as a satanic move, but it is. There is no way we can have the seed carrier in the gutter. And on the other side, we have women who are well-resourced, well-educated, and we have a boy who is directionless and is dying out in the streets. Why are they in the streets? They are from single parenthood, mm -hmm. and they are coming so that they can be able to make a living for their own mothers. But when these young men come to the cities like Nairobi, getting a job is not guaranteed. And they get themselves now frustrated because they do not have housing, they do not have money, they are not in employment, in any sort of employment. And because they are not able to uh, get money or they don't have access to food and all that, they, they start taking glue. Some of them now are hard drug addicts and uh, many of them are dying from HIV and AIDS because of um, the syringes. And when the boys are at their most vulnerable, Raganthi says they are often used as drug runners and vendors. That is the reason I feel as a mother, we need to rescue the boy child from this menace of this drug uh, balance and also to move them from the streets. Ragathi's dream is the creation of a multifaceted program that would provide these boys a medical rehab facility with Christian counseling, a vocational training center to teach different skills, and a sports academy. So that those who want to do sports, they can get engaged there to redirect their energies to something that is more fruitful. And this is precisely why Her Excellency is in the United States, seeking financial support so she can help the young boys of Kenya, starting with the sports academy. We know God has called us to be able to reach out to those boys. And when I look at them, I see the future church. Ragathi knows there's a fierce spiritual battle for their country's future. She also believes the same God who saved her and her young siblings from once living in an outdoor chicken pen can rescue Kenya's young men. So that is why you see, I can feel the heartbeat of the street children because I've been there. I know how I, 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 to be without food. I know how to be without clothes. And it was so cold that one of my sisters died of pneumonia. My mother prayed for us. My mother spoke words of power, authority over us. So she told us, don't worry. When your father is not there and you are children of the widow, your father in heaven will see you through. Pastor Dorcas Ragathi believes she is in the palace for such a time as this, to rescue Kenya's boys from the streets, to love them, and to teach them that with God, there are no limits. He can take them from the pit to the palace. And she has her own story to prove it. Wendy Griffith, CBN News.
It's wonderful and it's scriptural. God comes, he takes people from the ash heap, from the trash heap, and he sits them among princes. Isn't it wonderful to see this happening in Kenya? And let's just challenge ourselves. Can we have this happen in the streets of Chicago? Can we have it happen in the streets of Baltimore? Can we have it in the streets of your hometown that you say, okay, Let's go out there. Let's, let's be mentors. Let's have good things for these young men to do so that our country's future is secure and secure in God. Take them from that ash heap. Let's have this be our prayer. Take them from that ash heap. Set them among princes. We can have this happen if we just say, this isn't somebody else's job. This is our job.